me up, baby. It's too hard to be pulling people off and giving people a ticket. vlog with Peyton cuz man made thermostats and all of that but God you understand God said it's hotter but did y'all know that how Stella got her groove back was a true story girl look at that mess that was fifty dollars now why they play with me like that and then behind the boxes on top of some rocks and then it's a blanket and you <laughs> Making back to 84, 84 degrees approximately. Ah! It's going to be inside of another box with a lock on it. And this is the bottle. And no matter how it's said and done. Oh, 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 oh. Now pull it up like Pimp C would say. And yeah, I'm calling this the Incredible Hulk, baby. Because when I tell you, you can't taste the liquor. You cannot taste the alcohol. This drink is very dangerous, so drink at your discretion. You know I ain't no damn grandma. Don't play with me. Play with your If you have not checked out that vlog, definitely go and do so. And let's jump into today's vlog and see what's going on. All right, you guys, I am on Gnome right now, and I found a recipe that I really want to make for a smoothie. Um, I have raspberries, I have lime juice, I have bananas, and all of that, and I found a raspberry smoothie that looks pretty delicious. It's called the Tropical Raspberry Lime Zinger, and this is a recipe that I got off Gnome. I have it downloaded to my phone. If you guys didn't know about Gnome, Gnome basically helps you learn the reasons and the why you make decisions when it comes to food it's not about dieting but it's about learning what will last and make actual changes in your life it takes psychology and the way you eat and the things you eat and combine them to really help you understand like what is going to be beneficial to your health and you losing weight or maintaining weight it has recipes on here it has psych tricks i love the psych tricks because the psych tricks help me out a lot especially when it said to store my food in the refrigerator in clear containers so i can see it that was really beneficial to me because usually when everything is kind of like hidden i forget that i have things in my refrigerator so that helps me a lot because if i know that i've meal prepped then i'm gonna grab those things and eat them more because i can see them another thing that noom helped me out with is taking a different approach to the way i exercise because i'll be honest with you because my metabolism is high, so high and i'm naturally thin i don't really like to exercise i don't really feel that i need to but in order to have a healthy heart i do especially having high cholesterol so i took a different approach i do pilates instead of going to the gym three to four times a week because i can overexert myself and get really nauseous and dizzy and next thing you know i haven't worked out in months but pilates i actually can be more consistent so by taking a different approach and using those side tricks it really helps me out in that room Realm as well another great thing about Noom is the food and meal tracker plus you can also track your weight if that is something that you're interested in doing I do it every day I get on the scale just to see if I am maintaining my goal weight which is 145 so I mean you can do everything within Noom it's nothing short of an amazing and I want you guys to try it for yourself if you guys want to sign up for Noom, click on the link below to go to Noom.com backslash Peyton. That's N-O-O-M dot com backslash Peyton to take your free Noom evaluation. It's quick, easy, and will help you create your custom plan. Thanks to Noom for sponsoring today's video. How could you turn? How could you switch up on me? Hey guys, welcome back to another weekly vlog. We are in the car on the way to run some errands. Um, I need to take this Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Foundation back to Neiman Marcus. I want to get it in the shade 8 because he matched me to my neck and I guess my neck is lighter than my face because... 
I don't know. I don't know how my neck glided in my face, but I need an 8. I feel like I need a darker shade. When I put it on, it does ox oxidize a little bit, but when I put it on, I feel like it's too light. Like, I feel like it's my winter shade because uh, I have a huge line of demarcation where my forehead actually starts, where my hairline actually starts, and then where my, um, where you can see the frontal starts. Um, so it's definitely my shade, but it's my winter shade. It's not my summer shade. And I want to wear this in the summer because I feel like it holds up really well in this Dallas heat, especially at night. Um, when I actually do go out and wear makeup, so I am in the wrong lane, but I'm just gonna keep straight as soon as this light turn green. Make sure I ain't no police around here. Oh shit, there go the police right there. Do you think he looking or is he in Subway? He might be in Subway. Baby, it's too hard to be pulling people over, giving people a ticket. My dash says it's 92 outside. I'm pretty sure it's hotter. I ain't been outside. I've been this is my first time actually leaving my house since the fashion show, y'all. I ain't left my house since. But what? What's outside? Hot, hot and hot girls and city boys. Ain't no reason to go outside, but me and Cynthia were just on the phone talking about makeup. <sighs> Let me tell you something. When it comes to me and Cynthia talking about makeup, I always end up in somebody's store. So I'm about to head to Sephora also because Kristen, the night, the, the um, PayPal that I went to the fashion show with, that night she had on Pat McGrath's foundation and she swears by it. Cynthia says that's one of her favorite foundations, but she said it's full coverage and you only wear it at night. That's typically when I wear makeup, so I'm, I, I'm thinking about picking up the Pat McGrath as well, um, and I want to exchange this, and I might give me a back of our candle, because lately I have really been loving uh, candles upstairs, and my Centaur 33 candle from Le Labo is almost gone. Like, I've been burning it, honey. I have been burning it like sage. So... Yeah, that's what we're doing, and I'm just going to run a couple of errands. I ain't put on no lotion, and I feel so dry. Oh, my God. Oh, and by the way, if this is your first time watching me and viewing, my name is Peyton. I call all of my subscribers PayPals, and all you have to do to become a PayPal is hit the subscribe button. I would love if you join the network and um, stick around and, you know, enjoy my vlogs and become a part of the network i call it a network i changed it from gang instead of network because um although y'all don't play about me and um y'all will jump some people for me <laughs> um i'm calling the network because i actually like link up with you guys and meet you guys and so many of paypal's are bosses ceos run businesses and things like that and i really like to help y'all as much as I can with like shout outs and mentions um, to really just help y'all in y'all businesses in any way. But So I feel like it's a PayPal network because it's so many business women and men that just got it going on, honey. And yeah, it's top tier over here for real. But yeah, girl, today is Friday. This is my first time leaving the house in like four or five days. I have not left the house since the fashion show. So yeah, we just gonna get out about do 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 see what's see what there is to do and run a few errands. I might go over to uh, Highland Park area and um, see what they got going on over there. Cause I had to track down some coins, honey. I was owed some coins. I had to track down some coins. Okay, so feel like buying myself something. It's a pat on the back. Get your money. Make the money, don't let it make you. You hear me? Today's scent of the day is Le Labo's Another 13. It is an absolute summer fave. I feel like you can't go wrong with Le Labo in the summer. You cannot go wrong with Le Labo in the summer, honey. 
Mm-mm. It smells so good. As a matter of fact, that Highland Park area has a Le Labo store and they probably have Tate Noir because I actually really like Tate Noir. I really, really like it. The body lotion, oh, smells so good. I really, really like it. And they actually might have the Another 13 body lotion too. So we definitely have a reason to go over to the Highland Park location. Mm-hmm. See what they got going on. Turn right onto Highland Park Village. I went the wrong way, but you know what? Parking is so bad. I'm just gonna leave my car where I parked it and I'm just gonna walk. Because I actually have never walked in this area and it's a lot of stores. So there's a Jimmy Choo. I actually wanna go in Jimmy Choo too. But we're gonna go. So I sprayed um, the Tonka on my left hand and the Tate Noir on my right hand. I'm going to wear it and decide. They close at 6. So I'm just going to wear these two really quick and decide, have lunch, and then go back and decide which one I'm going to buy. Because I'm really leaning towards the Tonka. Like, I like the Tate Noir body lotion, but I don't know if I like it as a fragrance. So we're just about to pop over to... Mercury. Come on, dress. We're just about to pop over to Jimmy Choo. up getting the shoes because they are gorge couldn't leave them i got them in a size 39 and while i was in there every time i waved my hand i could smell the tay noir but i like the tonka more so we need to decide really don't need to buy another damn perfume i got a perfume coming in the mail tomorrow from um um twisty lily they're sending me a zerge off which i cannot wait so we really don't need to oh it's a dior over there or fandy highland park is a fucking bad good luck coming over to highland park village and not spending some money good luck New Drake album just dropped. 
My mama wish I would've went corporate, she wish I would've went exec. Hey. I still turn to a CEO, so the lifestyle she respect. Hey, would you know how sticky it get? Hey, would you know how sticky it get? Hey, she want me to play with that cat. Hey, she love how I make it away. Hey. <sighs> All right, we gonna have to be quick in a mile because I'm starting to get a little hungry headache. I need to eat. Hey, good. Um, I got this in the shade 7.75 and I think I need a little darker. I think this is my winter shade. I need it in my summer shade. So I think I need an 8. Okay, well let's make sure. Let's make sure. Okay. She thinks she needs an 8. Is this too wide? I'm going to make an 8. Yeah, 8.75 maybe? Okay. Okay. Should we make sure? Yes, ma'am. And can you match to here? Yeah. Today was an eventful day. Do we have anywhere else to go? Let me see. I got me something nice. I got me some smell good. Some new makeup. Um, hold on, Drake. I went in. Cynthia swears by this. She says to get it. I already love Petra Star's products. I wear his powder foundation. I love his makeup remover. I've tried his eyebrow pencils. So Cynthia says try the mattifying um, makeup setting spray. It's called On Till Dawn. This is like highly talked about on TikTok. Baby, I had to get a small one because the full size was sold out. So that says a lot. I end up keeping my Georgia R Money fabric foundation in 7.75 because they were adamant that I'm supposed to match my foundation up. So whatever my neck, whatever the color of my neck is, I'm supposed to match it up, not down. See, I usually like match it to like right here and blend down, but they say, you know, Georgia R Money is white people. So they want you to match to your neck and my neck is lighter than my face so but it's crazy because like my face is naturally light it's just i have a little tan right now then i also got the pat mcgrath labs skin fetish foundation in the shade medium 18 and i bought your daddy some for father's day Something here that your fans don't know about you. Like, what's the secret? Like, they don't know about you. Yeah. I drive with two feet. I taught myself how to drive. So. Is that the way you got into a wreck? Oh, I knew not to. Ooh, he, he knew not to let me know how to do that. All right, guys. Good morning. So we are getting ready to go on a PayPal date. Ooh, I ain't got a lot of time to get ready. Let me, oh my God. Let me DM her until you hold on one and like. Yeah, we got a PayPal date. She says she's leaving out at one. So let me go ahead and get ready because I'm kind of rushing and <laughs> I'm about to try a new hairstyle today. Lord, please let it come out good, God. Happy me. Okay. Already, I got a long braid going on. It's cute. I wanted it to be longer, but I'm rushing, so we added some little clip on bangs because my bangs kind of thin because my natural hair is kind of thin. So, 
I added a little clip on by clip in by and it worked out perfectly. I got it in the shade off black because my hair is actually like sandy brown. And then I just fringed them. So yeah. This look. Okay, and I want to put on my new fragrance that I got from Le Labo yesterday in Tonka 25. Oh, it smells amazing. Okay, so this is the look for lunch. We're doing an early lunch. So the um, lace bodysuit is from Zara. The necklace is from Colt Gaia. The belt, I can't even tell you. How, I just was looking for a gold belt, and this is all I could find. The pants are from Aritzia, and I'm wearing my Fendi slides. I was going to put on those, but these pants aren't long enough so a comfortable look i'm leaving my house in the next i hate one to rush but at least i was able to get the look that i was going for with my hair okay one more look at the fit all together Y'all, I am like kind of disappointed in Drake's album. They said that, that he made it for the TikTok culture. And uh, I don't give a shit about that. You supposed to be making songs for me. I'm your wife. Don't you see how dedicated I be with these reworks? And you sitting up here playing with me? The sun is so close to the earth right now. Like, uh, I just want to look up and say, bag, back a little bit. Baby, give me 50 feet. You're a little too close. You all in my zone. You can't tell me that Arizona and Texas don't pull the sun closer a little bit than other states because it is way too hot outside. It is hot outside. So right now we're getting ready to head to this bar called Federales in Deep Ellum. I've never been, but I think sis has been. So I'm getting ready to meet her over there. Baby, I hope it's inside. I hope it's not an outside bar. It is just way too hot to be outside right now. Tell you what I did last night. I came home, say, around a quarter to three. So high, hypnotized in a trance from this body, so buttery brown and tantalizing. You would have thought I needed help from this feeling that I felt so shook. I had to catch my breath. Girl, 
Okay, yesterday was a day. Yesterday was a time. How do I say? What's that new TikTok saying? Yesterday was a time, okay? This actually is really good, by the way. Makeup held really well. I only had to block one time. I am starving. I need to eat me some breakfast. But first, I got to clean up this bathroom. I left this bathroom a mess, y'all. I left it a mess. It's hair everywhere. So I'm just... I got to I gotta be organized. I got to be organized. So, um... Okay, and I found it. So, this is the Morphe setting spray that I used to use. And this one smells like cucumber. This is the one that Cynthia loves. She loves by this one. This is continuous setting. This is the mattifying uh, setting. Um, so, yeah. I don't know if Morphe still has the mattifying. I'm not sure. And I don't know if you guys can see them, but I have my little patches on. They're not the Panoxa ones that I like. I bought them from CVS and I don't know where I put them. So I have these on. I got these from CVS. They are not as good as the Panoxa ones. The Panoxa ones actually pull the, the, the bacteria out of the pore. Because what I've, what I've been realizing since I've been having skin problems in this acne, when I extract my own pimples, I'm, I can't do it. I can't do it. I don't know what it is about estheticians when they extract my pimples that the bacteria doesn't spread all over my face and cause more breakouts, but I cannot, I cannot pop my own pimples. I spread the bacteria all over my face and that is why I'm having more breakouts because cystic acne pimples one you're supposed to leave them alone but i end up was able to like i was washing my face and it just popped so i went ahead and pushed the bacteria out not realizing that i was doing more damage than good because now all of this area it was just one like literally it was just one big cystic acne pimple like i it literally looked like something was trying to grow out of my face and it opened up so i pushed the bacteria out now i'm having so many breakouts all in this area that bacteria that comes out of a pimple is so so contagious so if y'all have cystic acne pimples please don't pop them you heard it here first please don't pop them leave them alone as a matter of fact cover them up with some type of patch so when you're washing your face the bacteria don't spread all over your face because chai so, yeah, as we were saying about last night, I had a time with Kayla. She's so sweet. Um, we actually ended up staying out till like 10. Um, we went to um, Irish Rooftop, had a good old time there and drank Bellinis till we was buzzing. And then after that, we went to Federales, had margaritas. And uh, we had one margarita, two shots of vodka. She had tequila. Then after that, we went to Bitter Inn and had two green tea shots. So yeah, by the end of the night, we were pretty tipsy. And uh, I had a headache. And she said she was even getting a headache because we mixed liquor like we ain't got no kind of sense. So... I have a little date today for Father's Day. I have one's well, not a little, um, but I have a day later on, so we don't get ready for that. But right now, we cleaning up, and I'm going to go ahead and um, reorganize my closet. Yeah, honey, we mix alcohol like we ain't got no sense, and I end up coming home, getting in the bed with my makeup on. I went to sleep with my makeup on. I didn't take my makeup off to... Um, like five o'clock this morning because I I knew in my sleep that I couldn't like toss and turn. I couldn't move. I couldn't like really sleep. So I slept on my back the whole time. And every time I moved, I, I kept thinking in my sleep, you can't lay on your face because you still have makeup on. So that was kind of like plaguing me in my sleep. So I was like, girl, just go and get up and wash your face. Because I hate taking my makeup off, y'all. I really do. It's, it'd be a task. So, I don't know what's what's going to happen to my skin from sleeping in my makeup them few hours, but 
I'm prepared for it here. It's already breaking out. It can't be no worse than what it already the fuck is. Did I not bring a, a garbage bag up here? I went downstairs for a garbage bag. Ooh, I be getting on my nerves. Every second, every minute, man, I swear. Every second, every minute, man, I swear. Every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it. Man, I swear that she can get it. Say if you a bad bitch, put your hands up high. Hands up high. Hands up high. Every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it. Man, I swear that she can get it. Man, I swear that she can get it. Every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it. Every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it. the little storage bins that I got from my closet so I have like shelves I have racks and then I have shelves so I bought five of these and I'm gonna redo it um like how she organized because I, I paid someone to organize it but I'm gonna redo it so it makes sense because right now like it kind of don't make sense like when i walk in i got all these black right here and it's summertime so i kind of need to like refocus what you see when you first walk in because i be forgetting i have a lot of stuff and i need to give away a lot of stuff it's, it's, it's some things that i'm honestly never gonna wear again never gonna wear I don't ever plan on wearing it again. Like, I got a lot of uh, one pieces when I um when I first got my BBL. You know what I'm saying? I was proud of my shape, baby. I spent money on it. You hear me? Took two rounds to get where I am today. Well, not today, cause I've lost weight and I haven't been in the gym. So, but still, I was proud of my shape. So I wanted to show it off. But now I'm just like, you know what? Prior to, I used to be extremely fashionable and I was I, I was able to play with my style. Um, but like after you get your body done, you kind of really limit it to what you can wear. Um, because things just don't fit right. You have to get everything tailored. So spandex is always like the go-to. Um, because you don't have to worry about it, you know, getting things tailored because it has an elastic band. But it's like, when you really have style, that, that's, it gets kind of annoying to always have to wear things that stretch, right? So, yeah, I got a lot of stretchy stuff in here. Which is not bad, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, I want to expand my style in my wardrobe so i'm gonna have to just start getting a lot of things tailored that's just what it is okay we got one side done before i started to get nauseous so it looks a little bit better oh lord it don't make no sense how hard it is outside it don't make no sense how hard it is outside it don't make no sense it don't make no sense all right so i bought some uh roses and what are these called? And some of these little things. So I'm about to make me two. Um, centerpieces, I guess. I'm going to make one for upstairs in my room. I'm going to put the red upstairs to give it a pop of color. And um, I'm going to put the white down here, of course. These thorns ain't nothing nice. Lord, you know how hard it is Dealing with the pain Day to day of a white man She can never be what I am But as long as he with me That's what it's gonna be Go 
flow to my niggas' phone. What you doing? Shit, be on my nerves when the kids bring it back to back. Fuck you, Fuck a bitch on stress. It's always the mindset I'm in. But an ex game is not the game. I'm trying to play it all. It's gonna redo this braid because it's looking a little raggedy. I already knew that I was gonna like redo it today, so I wasn't even tripping on how I wrapped it last night. Cause I, like I said, I was tipsy, okay? I wasn't drunk, but I was tipsy. So I just got in the bed. I ain't care. But we were going to add hair to this. So. Hopefully this works out because. This is braid hair. Generally, like, you can't reuse it. You know, this hair, like, $3. Oh, Lord, look at that. <sighs> oh, God. I literally just cleaned this stuff up earlier now. So let me hear it where I love again. Okay. Now I gotta get this out of my way because I need to focus. dress is from fashion nova and the shoes are steve man y'all know these like my favorite mules <clears throat> hair is the same we just spruced it up a little bit my little love see your eyes wide like an ocean when you look at me so full To be here in the city, I know you feel lost. It's my fault completely. Oh, 